Hey guys, welcome to Pregnancy and Postpartum TV. Today is day two, which is a leg day pregnancy workout. You can do this as part of the challenge or you can also do this as a standalone workout. I've provided options so you don't need any equipment. However, if you want an extra challenge, you can add some dumbbells. I'm gonna use five pounds today or a loop mini band. I'm also gonna wear shoes for the first part of the workout, but when we get down on the floor, I'm gonna take them off for the floor work. If you're enjoying these videos and to support me, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you can also join us on Instagram and you can tag me at Pregnancy and Postpartum TV to do the challenge along together. We'll start with a warm up before we get started. Let's start with some shoulder rolls. Starting to take some deeper breaths. Moving the other direction. Good, let's bring the whole arm into it. Keeping your ribs pulled in to protect your core. Coming forward. Good, we can take our hands to our hips. Bend our knees and do some hip circles, lubricating those joints. Switching direction. Good. Easy lunges side to side. Pause here to stretch for a few seconds. Other side. Let's step together. We can do some easy hamstring curls. Good. Let's stretch out through our quads in case your legs are a little bit sore from yesterday. Switching to the other leg. Release. If you're grabbing your weights, you can go ahead and grab them or water bottles or no weights at all. Let's take our feet wide apart. We're gonna squat down, lifting up on our toes. Last one. We're gonna get ready to lunge to the side here. You can pull your arms up. We're also gonna do arms tomorrow, so if you just wanna keep your weights down, that's okay too. We'll squat here, step out to the side, 
squat wider and alternate feet engaging your core We're going to squat again. And this time, exhale. Knee up, alternating sides, spreading your toes. Squat. Exhale, lift. Chest is high. We're going to squat and lunge. Doing the exercise at three times in a row is really going to be great for your endurance, we also for labor up, prep. Then we make up, act like we're gonna be friends. Switching sides. Fire, me higher, it all Chest is high. All over again. Pulling your baby in. We can place our weight down now. If you wanted to use a mini band, you can. I'll give you a couple extra seconds to set up with your mini band here. If you don't have one, that's okay. I am going to use them for future workouts. They're also $10. So if you wanted to grab them for next time, you can as well. Let's set up on the side here. Stepping to the side, legs are staying apart so your band doesn't fall down. The lower you go, the more challenging it will be. We're going to do some standing glute kickbacks now, keeping your baby pulled in. If you wanted to grab a wall or a chair, you can. You can also do this without the band at all. Finding your balance on one foot. Micro bend, kicking back. Hips are squared. Exhale as you kick.
I'm gonna set up for the other side. Spreading your toes, re-engaging your core. Kicking back. Let's come to the back of our mat. We're going to do diagonal walks. You can also do this without the band again. Re-engaging your core. We're going to step out to the side. And then reverse. We can set up for squats here. Having your legs a little bit wider apart is gonna be more of a challenge. Keeping your chest high, giving your baby a hug, squatting down. We're gonna have a water break after this. It's your chance to really go for it. Last one, we can shake it out. Let's grab a sip of water. My heart is beating to your drum, and I'm blinded by the sunshine in your eyes. Not thinking twice, am I this dumb? If you wanted to grab your weights or water bottles, again, you can. We're going to start with some hamstring curls, keeping your weights down, or you can have them up by your shoulders, re-engaging your core. Take our feet hip width distance apart here. We're going to deadlift down, slight bend in your knees. Weights go straight down, don't go too far. Make sure you're not rounding out through your back.
Can't help myself You know too well I need you close Can't help myself We're gonna switch to one side now. We move into a lunge. If this doesn't feel good for you, Squaring your hips, rolling your shoulders down your back, chest stays open, hinging at your hip. You take your hands up, we're gonna alternate curtsy lunge now. Pulling your baby in. We can place our weights down, grab a sip of water. I'm gonna take my shoes off and then I'll meet you down on the mat. We're gonna focus a lot on our adductors or our inner thighs because that's part of the pelvic floor that often gets left out. Let's re-engage our core, scoop slightly. We can extend and then we're gonna squeeze our inner thighs, cross them over, extend, beautiful. Squeezing all your muscles as you extend as well. Not letting your hips move back and forth. You can do a hip circle or two. We'll get ready for the other side.
Stabilizing your hips, hugging your baby in. Squeeze as you cross. If you're going to grab a band, we can put a band just above our knees here. Again, this is still a good exercise if you don't have your band. We'll set up on all fours. We're gonna start with fire hydrant and then donkey kicks. We've just got 30 seconds here. Keeping your hips very stable, not rocking. We'll go straight into donkey kick pulses, same leg. Toe pointing up at the ceiling, pulling your baby in. Release, fire hydrant on the other side now. Donkey kick pulses. We're almost done. Release, let's take a quick glute stretch here. Let's come it down safely on our side. We can move the band to our ankles. If you're using the band, again, you don't have to. Let's keep our top one up. And then we're going to take it around under our heel and extend this one. You can lay all the way down. And then we're gonna do tiny circles here. Keeping your core engaged. Release down for a second, take a breath. Back up, other direction. Breathe through the burn. This is similar feeling to what a contraction might feel like the rest of your body. Breathing through it. Release down, perfect. So we can unhook that top leg now. Let's take our front feet together. We're gonna kick high.
bring it down. Both legs are turned out. Pulse here. Not letting your hips rock. Beautiful bend, and we're going to tap internal rotation, open to clam. Keeping your hips very stable, not rocking back and forth again. Baby is pulled in, your belly's not just flopping out. Good, release. You can flip over to the other side, or I'm gonna get up, turn over so you can see me. Again, placing your band around your ankles if you're using your band. So top ankle, hook it under your extended heel. Find a comfortable position now, and getting ready for our inner thigh circles, lift circle here. Release down. Take a breath, up, and switching directions. Tiny controlled circles. Keep breathing. Good, releasing your top leg, bringing your feet slightly in front, kicking up. Re-engaging your core if you need to. Top leg is turned out. Exhale as you kick, good. Bring it down, pulse here. Bending your knees, open up for clamshell, and then internal rotation tap, open up. Hips are stable again. Release. We're gonna come up on it to all fours. We're gonna have one more power move. So from hands and knees, let's step behind. Alternatively, you can stand up and come into a squat, but we're gonna stand here, shift our weight to our feet, bring our hands up. We're gonna hold for 30 seconds in our squat here, nice and low, chest is high. Breathe. You can also add some pelvic floor contractions if that's safe for you, or you can relax your pelvic floor.
Awesome job. Release down. Let's come back to all fours. We can move in to some easy hip circles. We're going to cool down, stretch it out. You did amazing. Switching directions. Tucking your toes, moving into a downward dog. And pedal out our heels. Engaging your core, coming back to your knees. Let's come up on our knees for a kneeling lunge. Moving one foot forward, shifting your hips forward, releasing into your hip. We can take our same arm as leg that's back. Inhale up, reaching to the side. Exhale, come on up. Let's stretch through our hamstring. Just a gentle stretch here. Come on up and switch to the other side. Shifting into your lunge, tucking your tailbone under. Releasing through your hips. It may also help to release through your pelvic floor. Let's side bend, reaching up and over. Deep breath into your side rib. Exhale, coming up. Pressing into your front foot to shift back. Flexing, hinging at your hips. Come on up, and we can find our way to a comfortable seated position. Let's bring our legs apart. If you wanted to sit on a pillow or a block here, you can, but let's boost up finding length in our spine and then you can lean over. Exhale, coming up, other side. If it feels good, you can walk your hands forward. Coming back up, we can bring our legs back in. We are done for the day, and as always, whether you finished the whole thing, you modified, you did parts of it, you did amazing, let me know how your legs are feeling in the description box below. Tomorrow, we've got arms and upper body coming up. Make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell, and it's always more fun to do it with a friend. If you have a pregnant friend that you want to share this challenge out with, you can share it out with them. I will link to my free resources for pregnancy in the description box below. I'm also going to link to the whole pregnancy yoga workout playlist. You can save it, come back to the different workouts whenever you like, and my natural birth preparation playlist.